Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new video and I have some really really bad news on the channel today. It's uh it's snowing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Oh no. How am I going to wear my sneakers anymore? We are going to be talking about my 6 favorite sneaker stores in Toronto or the GTA. In Canada, there aren't as many sneaker boutiques and sneaker stores as there are in America or worldwide. So when it comes to sneaker releases, we really get shafted as the amount of sneakers we get in stock or the amount of special releases we get are incredibly, incredibly low. But anyways, these are my six favorite sneaker stores without any specific order. So let's get into it. Now this isn't a ranked list, but I have to say, I think this sneaker store I'm talking about first is probably my favorite. This one is called Livestock. You guys have seen me visit this one before in a lot of my vlogs, and they have so many sneakers and so much diversity. So you're not gonna be stuck only like looking at Nike or only looking at Jordan brand. They have so many different brands available in their store and online as well. Now when it comes to their online shop, it's called Deadstock Dossier, not Livestock for some reason. And on their website, they have some really, really good steals sometimes. They have really good sale prices and those sale prices aren't reflected in store. If you go in store, everything is gonna be full price. Small clarification, I said there was no sales in store, but I, uh, it's changed. They have a lot of stuff on sale right now. So if you're in the area, come by. They have 30, 40, 50% off a lot of stuff. Uh, luckily, you don't have to be from Toronto to take advantage of their awesome prices. So I would recommend you check out their website, deadstock.ca. Uh, and besides their sneaker collection, they also sell some clothing as well. They have a lot of brands like Palace, Illustrated Example, I think, and a few other brands. And so I would recommend checking them out. They have some good streetwear. And on top of that, sometimes they get selected for special like pop-up boutiques. I know Nike did a special uh, Flyknit. Uh, Air Force One boutique there pop-up shop during All-Star Weekend. I went to that. I'll link that down below if you want to see that pop-up. The next store we're going to talk about is a store literally right beside Livestock. It is called Adrift. And I'm pretty sure they even share the same music, like playing. One time I went inside Livestock and then I went to Adrift after and they had the same song playing. I'm pretty sure they had the same the same music but anyways I thought they were owned by the same company apparently they're not uh, but the employees at Adrift are some of my favorite employees they're really really chill there I like the atmosphere they have they have like a projector going um, with skateboarding uh, videos on it basically Adrift is like Toronto's premier uh, skateboarding store they have so many uh, Nike SBs and skateboarding shoes and a lot of brands that you would probably buy if you are in the skateboarding scene They also have a lot of decks and they also have a lot of streetwear as well and just like uh, Deadstock or Livestock Adrift has really good sales as well on their website So I've actually picked up a few pairs of pants from them. You guys know I love the brand Zane Real. I'm actually wearing some Zane Real uh, denim right now and I've bought two pairs of denim from there. I've bought multiple, multiple sneakers. They also have some really good sales and sometimes they have sales in store. One time they were having a crazy sale where all sneakers were like 40, 50 or $60. And they had like really expensive sneakers too. So I would highly recommend you check out Ad Drift as well. And they have a lot of streetwear. They have like Thrasher and Zane Robe and Publish and a lot of brands. So I'll link their website down below as well. It's great because you don't just have to live in Toronto to take advantage of these stores. Moving on to my next favorite store. This one is called Exclusity. This store actually has multiple locations. I think they have two in Montreal, one in Toronto. And I love the atmosphere when you go into that store. It has this really like cool vibe to it. I like the way they have their sneakers on display. They have like white lights underneath. So it really amplifies the way the sneaker looks. and makes them look majestic. And the staff there is also really friendly as well. Now they don't have a crazy, crazy amount of like streetwear brands. But when it comes to sneaker brands, they get a lot of releases like Air Jordans, special Air Jordan releases, uh, Adidas NMDs, 
all that stuff, even Yeezys. So they get a lot of hyped releases and it's great because they have three different locations. So you don't just have to be Toronto to enjoy the benefits of having them in your city. Now they also have a website as well, exclusity.com. You know what, I'll link all the websites down below of all the stores I'm talking about in today's video. But yeah, I would recommend you check out their website as well. They also have some really good sales. And one thing I really like that Exclusity does that's really different compared to every other sneaker store brand that I know of is they have heavy, heavy engagement on social media like Instagram and Snapchat. Like they're always, always on it. So they can always provide you like sneak previews of their sneakers before they go on sale. And the fact that this store is so engaged with the community, Snapchatting and Instagram storying and, and posting on Instagram so much really makes the store feel more, more of like a friend, more than a store selling you stuff which is really cool, it's hard to explain. They feel like the homie, like the plug, essentially. They're like, yo, these sneakers are coming out, wanna let you know, like they're cool people over there. They also have a YouTube channel and I would watch their YouTube videos before I even made Sneaker Talk. So they have a lot of reviews and on feats, mainly on feet videos, so you can know what the sneakers look like on feet before you try and purchase them. So yeah, I would recommend Exclusity, probably one of my favorite stores out there. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Courtside Sneakers. Now, this store is located in Charlottetown, I believe. One thing about Courtside Sneakers is because it is a smaller boutique, the amount of inventory they get isn't massive, it isn't huge, but the sneakers they do get are usually really, really good sneakers. Even right now, they have some good sneakers online. Um, there's one sneaker I wanted for a while, and it went on sale. I'll show it to you. This one here, the Adidas ZX8000 uh, Fortis collab, retail was like 150. These went on sale for like 100, so I bought them. And now these are on sale for like 50 bucks on core size sneakers. So I was like, damn, I'm tempted to double up, but I'm fine with just one pair. One thing they really do in particular that sets them apart from a lot of other brands is that they are really community oriented. They've done really cool things like uh, sneaker coloring uh, competitions where they have a printout of like an Air Jordan 3 or an Air Jordan 12. You just color it out so it's a really cool activity that you can do and you just submit it for like a raffle entry. They've also done really cool give back uh, kind of events where if you will buy a sticker for the Air Jordan 12 flu game for five dollars the funds would go to the wildfire relief effort that happened earlier this year. One other thing that I really, really like is that Cord Size Sneakers is like really against resale. They really want the end consumer of their sneakers to be the person wearing the product. And so you guys know how much of a pain it is when bots and resellers buy sneakers and all that stuff. Well, they're not about that life, okay? They'll cancel orders, they'll make sure everything checks out so that people aren't using bots and all that. And they've done cool things with uh, recent Air Jordan releases. For example, for a recent release, I think it was for the Black Toe Air Jordan 1s. To combat against bots and everything, they said that they were releasing those sneaker on their website, but they weren't gonna tell you what page uh, the sneakers would be on, so you would have to hunt down the sneaker and then add it to cart and then buy it, so no bots could hunt it down. So you'd have to just manually hunt it, which is fun, it's cool, it's different, and it's just a great way to combat against bots. Also, for whatever reason, if a sneaker is canceled for an order, they'll save the inventory so they can release it at a later time of that day, so someone who really wants it can get it, and they'll make like an email specifically for that sneaker so that when they post on Twitter, hey, we have sizes eight and 12 available, email this email and you'll be able to purchase it. So just them doing really cool things like that is something I can appreciate as a consumer of sneakers. Soul Stop has two different locations. They recently opened one up in downtown Markham, but before that they had one location. It was specifically in Pacific Mall, specifically in Pacific Mall. Pacific Mall, it's this huge uh, Chinese shopping mall, one of my favorite malls. They have like a thousand bubble tea places and cell phone repair stores and cell phone case stores in that mall. 
Uh, this mall used to be like the go-to place if you wanted pirated DVDs and all that kind of stuff. And this mall, but not Soul Stop, but just the mall in general, would sell a ton of like fake goods, like so much. And so cops would continuously come to the mall and raid stores. Even right now you can buy some like fake Gucci, fake Louis, fake Yeezys, all that stuff in the store. You can even buy fake like action figures. Like it's pretty crazy. Now this store has a lot of running sneakers. They don't get Air Jordans. I think they might have gotten Air Jordans a long time ago. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But they have a lot of running shoes. So they get like New Balance, Asics, Saucony, uh, a lot of those things. And they also get Adidas as well. They also get Yeezys. Now not every store I'm talking about today does get Yeezys. I think most of them do except for Courtside for some reason. Um, but Soul Stop, they have a lot of streetwear. Now, I love running shoes, I love streetwear. So it only makes sense that this store is in my top six uh, favorite stores list. This store has so much brands, so much streetwear brands. You can go in store and an entire wall is dedicated to all the clothing. It's just clothing on clothing on clothing. And this is the Pacific Mall location I'm talking about. I haven't been to their downtown location, the downtown Markham location. So Soul Stop is easily one of my go-to places for where I buy streetwear alongside sneakers. I've picked up a few sneakers from there in the past, but I've also bought a lot of Zane Robe from them. They also have had Black Scale, uh, just so many different brands. But if you want running shoes in specific and streetwear, Soul Stop is one of my go-to places I would recommend. And they have some really good sales from time to time, like really, really good sales. Like some of the best sales on streetwear and sneakers you can honestly get. All right, and last but not least, our final store. This one is called Essential Toronto. Now, this one isn't new to a lot of you guys. You guys have seen it on the channel before. It is Toronto's premier consignment store. They have all the heat you could possibly want, all the Supreme, all the Bape, all the Jordans, all the Nike, all the exclusive, expensive sneakers. This store is like the flight club of Toronto, the stadium goods of Toronto. If you want a sneaker, they probably have it. But the thing is, having all this amazing inventory does come at a price. Some of their prices are really, really damn high, but that is to be expected from any consignment store because the prices aren't just necessarily set by the store itself. It also has some negotiation with the seller because what you do at a consignment store is as a person, I'm trying to sell a sneaker, I give it to the store and then the store sells it and they have to take a percentage as well. So the prices get a little bit inflated, just like how Flight Club I think has a 20% consignment fee. I think Essential Toronto has a 10 or 20% consignment fee as well. Now I haven't been to Essential Toronto in a while. I know they recently did a move inside of the same like shopping center they are at. Um, they're located at Shops at Oro that is at Young and College right at the heart of downtown Toronto. So if you're in Toronto, you have to check these guys out. But I featured them in my sneaker documentary, Life of a Sneakerhead, and just many, many vlogs as well. I went shopping there with uh, the Real Ray Ray 20. You might have seen that. So yeah, these guys have everything from pre-release sneakers. They had, they had like OVO 10s and stuff like months before they came out as uh, official release. Uh, Yeezys. Red October is like every single heat item, these guys got it. Even like Supreme crowbars and like a lot of weird stuff. And this store is also the only store in Toronto, Toronto, with a key master. They have like two key masters. They filled one up with Yeezy Boost um, version two, 350s. So much stuff, so much heat. I can only explain how much heat they have for so long. So check out their Instagram. Their Instagram will be an example of all the heat that they have. And also they always show what the winners are for the key master. So you can see how often people are winning it. And people win the key master so much. The other day I was just on Instagram and I was like, damn, five people won the key master in one day? Those are some really good odds. So yeah, check out Essential Toronto if you are downtown and uh, let them know you saw them on Sneaker Talk. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really do care about you guys and I really love the support you guys have been giving me. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get this video to 700 thumbs up. If we can, uh, that would be awesome. And I have school like in 55 minutes. So I might be late. Sorry, mom. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get going to school now. It's Monday morning and I shouldn't have filmed this video. But I love you guys and I wanted to put a video out and not have nothing. So, ah, all right, school time. I'll catch you guys next time.